You have to be 21 years old to buy alcohol or go to the strip club and make it rain in that thing. A little precipitation on them cheeks. But you can be 17 and get high off aviation. Here are six other requirements for you to be a pilot. Lego. Boom! Numero dos. You're going to need yourself a third class medical. And I highly recommend that you get that medical clearance immediately and at the beginning of your pilot journey. You want to know right away, are you physically able and capable of being a pilot? You don't want to get down the journey of studying all the material, watching all the videos on this channel, only to find out that you couldn't become a pilot because you couldn't pass the medical. You need a third class medical to get that private pilot license if you're starting at that level. So make sure you get that medical as soon as possible. And if you're not in the best physical condition right now to pass a medical, then start working on that. Where you are right now, it, you can easily improve those conditions and be in a better place six months from now, a year from now, even in a short amount of time, if you put in the work. Stay disciplined, stay on the grind, clean up your diet, eat healthy, exercise as often as possible, and get right so you can get that medical and be ready to run that thing. Numero tres, you want to be able to read, write, and speak the English language. Say, hablo inglés. Si, señor. Si, señorita. You want to be able to read, write, and speak English, and you'll be perfectly fine to pass all of your examinations, your written examinations, your oral examinations, and be able to communicate on those comms and do everything that you need to do for your pilot license. Number cuatro, you're going to have to meet all the aeronautical requirements. You're going to be doing a lot of different things. You're going to do solo cross countries, night flights, all types of landings and takeoffs, all that fun stuff. You're going to be swinging and banging, slipping and dipping that thing, baby. A one time and to be able to go through all of that and meet all those requirements is going to be a major part of you becoming a pilot. Numero cinco, you're going to have to pass a written examination with 70% or better. Couple things on this. One, if you want to pass that written examination, all you got to do is subscribe to this channel. Subscribe to this channel because we're going to go through everything that you need to know to pass that written examination, to pass your check ride. Boom! Ready? Run that thing. You know what I'm talking about? So that's number one. Like this video, subscribe to this channel, but you definitely want to get better than 70%. Here's a little secret. If you just do just enough to get by in life, that's not going to be good enough for you and it's going to come back to haunt you because when you get inside that check ride, all of your designated pilot examiner is going to do is ask you all those questions that you missed on that written examination. So it's going to be a dead giveaway that this is the hole in your game. You got some kinks in your armor. So I'm going to attack you and ask you all these questions about this stuff that you missed on that written examination. This is why you want to study to the utmost to make sure you pass that thing as high of a score as possible. Never in life just do enough to get by. This is how I can come back and bite you. Always go above and beyond and you can always excel. And that way when you get inside that oral examination, they're already going to presume that you know the information because you passed it on your written. So they're not going to be quizzing you and drilling you about that kind of stuff. Make sure you get the highest score possible. Subscribe to this channel. Hey, boom! Numero seis, you want to receive all flight training and ground endorsement. This is going to be part of your requirements as well. So connect with your CFI, make sure you meet all the requirements and get all the endorsements that you're going to need and stamps of approval to get to the next level to make sure you've met all the requirements in your training. You got all the adequate hours, you know all the maneuvers, everything is ready and you're ready for that check ride so you can pass that thing and be swinging and banging that thing. These are six requirements for you to become a pilot. I want you to feel what pilots all over the world feel when we dip it in that thing, baby. One time, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to this channel. I am Donovan Batiste. Hey, this is Leadership Mindset. Big Wool, subscribe to this channel for more pilot talk. Run that thing. Lego.